going to do is my seat belt. Right. It's not cack, cracked, frayed, it's not ripped, it's securely mounted. Okay? okay. And it latches securely. First thing you want to do is a safe start. Neutral, clutch in, key to the on position. My anti-lock brake light came on and you went what? off. My anti-lock brake light okay. came on and went off, okay. which shows me it's working properly. First thing I want to look at is my mirrors. They're not cracked, broken, missing any pieces, and they are adjusted to me. Okay? Are you going to say they're clean or not? You don't have to say that. Next thing I'm looking at, I might as well continue with my glass. I'm looking at my windshield. It's securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, broken. There's no illegal stickers. I'm looking at my wipers. They fit flush against the windshield. The rubber's not torn, and it is securely mounted. Okay. I'm going to might as well check my wipers. They work low, they work high, and the fluid comes and wipes cleanly. Okay? And now that they're off, we'll just continue on. I am going to look at my water temperature. Should operate between 180 and 200. My voltmeter should be operating at 14. I'm looking at my primary and my secondary air gauges. They should operate between 110 to 120. Okay. What else do we have? My oil pressure is operating at 60 PSI. Okay. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. Alright. I want to check my left turn signal indicator. My right turn signal indicator my four-way flasher indicator, and my high beam indicator, which I have to have my lights on to do so, and it does. Okay, so we're to that part. I want to check my defrosters and heaters. It's working here, and it's working here. I can now turn those off. I have a city horn and an air horn. Okay? So far? What's that? I said you steered out front of <laughs> Okay. So far that covers everything that we need to do except for one more item. We have a 5 BC rated fire extinguisher, fully charged, inside kit, or it might be here. But just say inside kit. I have three reflective triangles and I have spare fuses in the glove box. Okay. So far we're done. Now I want to continue on with my brake check. This is the important part. On something like that, you can miss one or two items and still pass. On this, you can't miss nothing. First thing I want to do is tug on my trailer. I'm going to release my tractor. And I'm going to tug. Yeah. And that shows that my trailer brakes are working. I'm going to release my trailer brakes and check my tractor brakes. And they're working. Now I want to roll ahead at five mile an hour. I'm going to apply the brake and make sure that the wheel doesn't move left or right. And that shows me that my brakes are in adjustment. So I'm going to just pull ahead and we'll say this is five mile an hour. And it did not move. Right. Now, I want to turn the engine off. Turn the key back on. Mention the air brake light or the inner brake light again. It came on and went off. Okay, now I'm going to wait till my brakes stabilize. I'm going to hold my foot on the brake till my brakes stabilize and they have stabilized. I'm going to continue to hold my foot on the brake for, for one minute so that I do not lose more than four PSI in that one minute. Will you time me? Yes. That's what you're saying, but we'll say. Okay, it's been a minute. I did not lose more than four PSI in that one minute. I'm going to continue to fan my brakes and at 60 or above. That's the word you have to use. 60 or above, my warning lights will come on. In the 60 or below? Don't say below. Say One, two. As soon as they come on, stop. 
Now I'm going to continue pumping my brakes and at 40 or 20 PSI my knob should activate or pop out. You can say either or. Watch them. Don't give a shit about them. They did activate and we are at 40 PSI. That concludes my air brake test. Now I would like to do a safe start so I can build up pressure to at least 100 PSI so we can continue on. And we're done. Not too bad.